Hello, this is Teja on Yosulijo. Today I'll be taking up class 5 heritage and we will be discussing on lesson 3, festivals of Nagaland. Its contents are about the festivals of Nagaland and their significance, comparison and similarities, know about others festival, appreciate and value good practices of each tribe's festival. Nagaland is called the land of festivals since its people enjoy celebrating life in all its different aspects. Each month is marked by a festival organized by its various tribes. The numerous tribes of Nagaland they have their own festival. Most festivals they are related to agricultural activities since agriculture it used to be the main occupation in the past. Now we will briefly discuss about some few festivals of Nagaland. Firstly, Aulong Mungi. This is the most important festival of the Konyaks and it is celebrated after the seed sowing fest in the first week of April every year. Traditionally, this festival is celebrated over a period of six days when the community they took part in different activities like fishing, hunting, sports, singing, dancing, and feasting. Second, Mitimyo. It is the festival of the Yumchinga and it's celebrated on 8 August. This is a 5-day ce festival celebrated after the harvest of millet. And this festival is also a time of feasting, making friends, getting enmities and getting their betrayed, which means fiancé. Minkut. This is the festival of the Kuki tribe and is celebrated on 17th January. This festival it derived its name from the grain mean which means job steer. According to the cookie, they believe that it is the grain that they discovered after coming overground. The cookie they believe that they had originally lived under the ground and this festival is celebrated to please the demon which who rules the underworld. Tokyo Imun Tokyo Imun is the festival celebrated by the Lotas on seventh November. This festival means resting for feasting from field work after harvest. Unlike other festivals, this festival bars villagers from hunting, fishing, trading, and traveling during the duration of the festival. No one in their village is allowed to go out during this period. Meat is gifted to friends and relatives to strengthen and forget in meetings. Sikrini Sikrini, it is the main festival of the Angami and is celebrated on 25th February. It is a 10-day festival of purification with feasting and singing. Since Sikrini is all about purification, it involves cleaning of the village well and thereafter ritual bathing at the well by menfolk. This festival is a sign of washing away one's misfortunes and illness. Chikagadi this is the festival of the Zilean tribe and is celebrated on 31st October. It begins with the sacrifice of a rooster to ensure prosperity to the people. Chikagadi is it is basically a festival dedicated to young people and courtship. Couples they go out for outing to get to know each other and share meals prepared by the girls. Family they get to know each other as well as community feasting are also carried on side by side. Mautze Mautze it is the main festival of the Owl tribe and is celebrated on 2nd of May after the sowing of seeds. The main aim of this festival is to invoke God's blessing upon the harvest. Mormon. It is the most important festival of the Santam and it is celebrated on 3rd September. This festival means togetherness forever. In conclusion, I'd like to conclude that um, the popularity of Nagaland in and outside India is mainly due to its, the coexistence of a number of colorful tribes and ethnic cultures that are prevalent there. Due to the existence of a number of different kind of tribes, their distant cultures and costume, life, life in Nagaland is one long festival. The rich and exclusive traditional heritage here gives way to a number of fairs and festivals in Nagaland that add a 
rejuvenating touch to the already beautiful and fresh mountain air of Nagaland. These tribal festivals of Nagaland are celebrated throughout the year.